Hey, 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 everyone. Happy New Year again. So, I am, you know, see I got my hair, I washed it and deep conditioned it yesterday and twisted it up. And the reason being is because I'm going to do a new product review. So, my product for today will be the, that's my drum roll, y'all. Revlon Power of a Dryer. Uh, precision of a styler salon one-step hair dryer and styler so basically it's the revlon um, hair drying brush i saw a couple of reviews on it and i wanted to give it a try and give you all an honest review ignore all the junk in my background my bathrooms are getting remodeled and i haven't fully fully moved into the whole space of my new place yet or newish place since i've been here since july i guess I'm going to try to prep my, prep my phone up so you all can see me well. And use my little attire because still got one leg, y'all. So, yeah. All right. So, here is the brush. And we're going to try it on one section of my hair. You see. Okay. So, first let me say this is the brush. It's very big, y'all. I thought it was small. Look at it compared to my face. I thought it was a little bit smaller than this. But... Um, anyway, they have little buttons here where it says off, uh, cool, low, or high. So, little buttons on the side there. So, we're going to go ahead and hit the... Oh, it's loud. I didn't expect it to be that loud. We're going to put it on low and we're going to try a section of the hair, okay? Nice. That's not bad. All right, so that is not bad, y'all. Um it really didn't even take all the brush strokes that I was doing. I was just doing extra strokes. I feel like my natural pattern is still under there. You can still see it. Let me show y'all up close. Still see my natural pattern. It didn't like take out all my natural curls, which happens with blow drying and the comb. I, the reason why I bought this y'all is because I couldn't find my comb. My comb piece broke on my last blow dryer. So I ended up buying a whole new blow, blow dryer too. So I may do a review on that later. But this is pretty nice y'all. And as you can see, my hair was already straightened out because I deep conditioned and then I twisted it. So it was already kind of straight, as y'all can see. But you can see I didn't lose my texture, but my hair is a little bit more out. So it's more flexible for stuff you want to do. For me, I'm not really one for hair straightening. So I'll probably just only um, twist it or something like that. But it definitely elongates your hair a little bit and it's nice y'all and it doesn't hurt and you can't really feel the heat or anything um i did put it on low because i am trying to keep my natural curl pattern um i did see some reviews that if you put it on high to make sure you have plenty of heat protecting on your hair i have a lot of heat protecting on my hair now even though i'm only doing it on low because i i uh put heat protectant deep conditioner and moisturizer all three um items together and, and let me show y'all that because I hate when people do these videos and they don't tell y'all what they have in their hair. So they don't really um, explain to y'all the level of like, products that it took um, to keep their hair protected. So I do want to do that and just show y'all what I used along with the brush. So, of course, Camille Rose. I love Camille Rose products. So I use this butter because this butter works so good on my 4C natural hair. My hair is always extremely dry and this is a really good moisturizer for it. Um, I did do a clay mask yesterday, so it had bentonite clay, some cholesterol, some vitamin E, some vitamin, um, I think vitamin D as well. Um, basically some, um, hen, not henna, I'm sorry, henna, uh, placenta. I used that in there. Also some, some of this oil, the do grow anti-scalp itch oil i use some of that because just because i've been in braids and weaves and stuff that my hair just needed a good deep conditioner i also use some of this that old school grease that indian hemp um it was inside of my my mask as well um so my hair has a lot of moisture inside of it right now right 
Um, and then what I used yesterday is I used some As I Am Leave-In Conditioner. With That's what's inside of these, right? As I Am Leave-In Conditioner, as well as some olive oil gloss protection because I knew I was going to be blow drying my hair today. So I used some of that. And then this moisturizer, the Camille Rose that I showed you all earlier. So that's what I have in my hair. But while I'm blow drying, I also added some more heat protectant. So what I added was um, this right here. I bought it off Amazon the other day. So far, so good. Um, but it's supposed to work for like blowouts and heat protection for your hair. Granted, I probably won't do too many full-on blowouts but or um, flat irons. But I do like this and I just wanted to share it because um, I am using all of that in my hair um, to protect it so that my hair doesn't get burnt out. So as you can see, it worked pretty well. Let's try one more section just so you all can see the difference. All right. Because I hate videos that like, you know, don't really show you the truth. You see my hair, right? It's a little tangled, but not like super tangled, right? So... Um, all right, let me get another section and notice I'm not doing like really small sections. I'm taking nice chunks of hair and you can already see like the difference between this hair and this hair, right? Total difference. So, all right, let me put this back up in my little ponytail holder and then, which I need some more y'all. I need some more ponytail holders. And then we're going to go ahead and do this section. And my hair is still a little damp in the roots because I can feel it like Right in here, right in here is a little wet. So you can see the texture of my hair, all of that, all right? Let me see this section is straightened. So I'm just gonna put this down for now and focus in on the rest of this, all right? All right, let's do one more section. Alright, so I want to show you all the difference now. You see, I've gone through two sections now. And don't be like me. Like, you know, if you already did a section, you don't have to comb through it again. If you want to avoid as much heat as possible, um, you could just part it and go from there. But I just kind of did mine like that. As you see, I need a haircut. I need my ends trim right here. Anyway, um, let's see, the comb goes through it better now. As you see, I had to kind of work my way down. Most people start from the ends and work your way in. But with this brush, it just kind of felt natural to work my way down and just kind of comb a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And um, that seemed to have worked, y'all. So my hair is like just straight enough of where I want it to be at. And it has grown a lot, y'all. I don't know if you follow my videos and you've seen me with my hair shaved on the sides little bitty twist everything and it's just grown so much in this past year it's crazy um probably the good products that i've been using in like just kind of low maintenance hairstyles but i do need my ends clipped again i just got them cut like six months ago so i'm gonna cut them again so lose a little bit of hair that's okay healthy is best right so as you can see this is what the brush gives you as a result so I'm going to finish blowing out the rest of my hair, but I just wanted to do a quick product review to show you all what this product looks like. All right. This is the low setting. This is not the high setting. If you want your hair extremely straight, you can do it on the high setting. But if you were to do it like a simple press out, this would be straight enough. Look, no tangling. Nothing. When my hands can go through my hair, y'all, it's a good product. Let me just say that.
so this is the Revlon um, brush, uh, blow dryer brush. And I highly recommend getting one, y'all, because it did actually work. And it was painless. It wasn't too much heat on my scalp because usually I'm hot and sweaty and it's too much heat. But this was actually really good. So I encourage you all to give it a try. And as I always say in all my videos, remember to be a positive impact on the world, positive impact on those around you, and continue to keep positive energy around you. And uh, stay safe in this weather, y'all, because it's snowing for the first time in 2022 for us up here on the East Coast in D.C. area. And um, yeah, it's just it's a great, great day. It's good weather and I'm happy for the snow. It's beautiful. Um, and just just remember, see the positivity in things, y'all. All right. Love you. Take care.